Hello and welcome to End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon and today is April the 11th, 2013 and I am here at NAB 2013. We are recording live from the show. Now, I interviewed Simon Frost on Monday. He's head of TV marketing for Ericsson and as you may have heard, Ericsson has reached agreement with Microsoft to purchase Media Room. Now, he stopped by to tell me a little bit about the deal. Of course, he's very limited in what he could say, but what he did say was that Ericsson is very experienced in multi-screen delivery. They also are developing a content delivery network and they have LTE broadcast infrastructure. None of these things exist in Media Room, or at least, they're not being used by Media Room's customers. And there is one of the problems for the product. Media Room 2.0 added a whole bunch of multi-screen functionality which none of the customer base is using. So I think this is a great match for Media Room. It's good for the customers because they'll be with a company that absolutely loves telcos. And it's good for Ericsson because it's more stuff that they can sell to their existing subscribers. So that video from Simon Frost will be up any day at the website, so check back when you can. Now, I did a panel this morning on second screen apps, and on that panel was Martez Moore from BET, Channing Dawson from Scripps, and Mark Adams from Axido Broadband. We had a good discussion, but one of the things that Martez Moore was talking about from BET really struck a chord with me. He talked about how BET is developing its own outdoor event weekend, BET Live. And it reminded me of something I heard Penn Gillette say in a panel on Monday this week at, here at NAB. What he said was, live cannot be stolen. And he's exactly right. And BET is doing this with their live show. But what's going on with second screen apps is it's making live cool again. And live can't be stolen. So great insight, I think, there from the panel. And that panel will also be available on NAB's website. And there'll be a pointer to it on my site. Now, if you haven't had a chance, you need to go grab that free report on my site about second screen TV apps and just click on the link on the end screen media front page. And I'll see you again next time.